Hey guys, welcome to week 28. This week's topic is on envy. It's uh, how we cope with envy towards what we desire. This topic can be taken from a number of different angles, um, but I will start out with a story. My aunt told this to me earlier this year with absolutely no idea of anything, which is why I thought it was so hilarious. But yeah, I suppose that would be around the beginning of my envy. Um, apparently when I was around one and a half, maybe two and a half, um, it was either my little cousin who was born or my sister's godmother's child. So apparently I was walked in on them changing him and I pointed at him and I said, I want one. And that's where it all began. <laughs> Should have become obvious then. But, okay. So growing up, um, it pretty much, envy for me pretty much started, I wanna say it was after, I wanna say it was around puberty. I remember having a little bit of uh, curiosity and envy uh, previous, but I, you know, like a bunch of us figured it would happen eventually, right? If it was it was supposed to happen, that's how I felt, that should happen eventually. Um, so pretty much around puberty is when the uh, envy started. It was uh, definitely middle school. Um, previous to that, I had, all my friends were male. Um, born male, etc. Um, so they started to change our friendship for, uh, for the most part as puberty started. Um, there was like... Like, there was high, uh, higher expectations of relationships to evolve out of our friendships and for me that wasn't happening. I just, you know, I saw us as buddies and you know, that that was it. That's what we were. And, and uh, as middle school is, it's, it's rough, and that's what happened, so at that point, my envy turned into hate, because I, and it turned it, it made me angry, and that's how I dealt with it, I just sort of like, I had a few close guy friends, and that's it, I just hated all of them, and I ended up getting angry at the females too, because I didn't fit in there either. And at that point, I was, I was just like, why, why, why don't I fit here, and why do I look like them, but I feel like them, and neither of them, you know, whatever. So, I, it turned into, into a, a dislike and, a, and, a, and an anger. Um, as I grew up, and as I started, you know, learning how to deal with shit, um, I was able to take it and make it its own separate entity. Um, they couldn't help it that I, I felt like this. I couldn't help it that I felt like this. So as I got older and learned more of what I was feeling, um, for the most part it was in, in college. In high school a lot of the feelings surfaced. I was dealing with a whole lot of them, and then by the time I got to college, I was starting to sort them out. I was starting to be like, okay, um, like there was for a while where I thought I needed somebody to help me, help me distract me from this and fix this, um, but then I, I realized that that's not what I need. I need to step back and I needed work from the bottom up, um, I started with just, um, pretty much accepting, acceptance, I started with acceptance, um, and that's really, uh, personally I think that's the key, accepting what you have, learning what you can do to change it, or learning what you can't do and accepting that you can't do certain things. Um, I pretty much started just accepting 
this is my body. This is, and th I can't do anything to change it. And there's, there's nothing to do. So coping with that got me to a place where I was able to at least be moderately comfortable with my body. Um, I was able to be in intimate situations. Um, but really with, I have to know the person. And that, that's still the same. I have to know the person, I have to trust the person. And I don't think that's ever going to change. I don't really care for it to change. Um, I don't mind it that way. Um, so then I reached a plateau where yes, okay, I accepted my body. I accepted who I was. I started to like who I was inside and I understand, I came to the understanding that who I am inside is more important than who I am on the outside. Um, and once I got there, I was able to start expressing myself comfortably, a little more comfortably. Uh, I was able to start dressing more the way I want. Um, just able to be myself more. Now, um, I've come to a place where um, I've learned that I can change things and I'm working towards changing them but I've reached yet another plateau that I want to have my family okay with with um, with this process before I begin it or at least a little understanding that it's something that I need to do before I actually go ahead and do it and it's something I'm serious about and it's something that you know, it really is the right thing before I go ahead. And that presented me with a bit of difficulty recently. Um, but I sat, you know, I sat inside my head and I worked on myself and I'm saying to myself, I'm still working on myself. And I'm saying, yes, I am so envious of all these guys that are starting their hormones, all these guys that are getting surgery now. I'm sitting down and I'm saying, you know what? My time will come. I've waited this long. I can I can tough it out for a little longer. Um, I just gotta keep telling, I just keep telling myself that. When I'm like, oh man, I wish, and I'm like, my time will come. My time will come when it's supposed to come. Uh, yes, it, I wish it came earlier, but that's not, that's not the case, so. Um, that's pretty much just how, how I deal with it. I, I coach myself, I guess you can say. And that's pretty much the, the day to day, like, if I'm going out, if I'm at work, and I see a guy, I'm, oh, oh, you know, I wish I looked like that. And I, and I say to my step back, I step back and I say to myself, my time will come. And I'll, eventually, I was like, um, you know, I'm just, I'm gonna, eventually it'll happen. Um, as for in intimate situations, yeah, um, yeah, I wish, I wish I had the right parts, but, um, I've grown to accept that the options are not that great, and maybe in the future, but right now, I have, back when I learned to accept what I have, I accepted what I have, and I accept that that's how, just how it's gonna be. So, um, I hope that made sense and I hope that helped a little, maybe. I don't know, sorry if it didn't. Um, I just got out of work, but my brain's all mess. But yeah, have a great weekend guys and I'll see you next week.